Hi, my name is Bill Standing and I'm from Kirkland, Washington. I'd like to show you how I found the letters CS50 in a star field pattern supplied by the Gaia satellite by way of the Gaia Sky software package. This is an image of the Gaia Sky app displaying the Milky Way center as seen from Earth. Here it is showing the proper motion of foreground stars as determined by Gaia, moving forward in time at about 30,000 years per second. This is a three degree wide section of the galaxy's central bulge. Notice light segments made up of several stars seem to make character shapes. This, for instance, could be a W. When proper motion is turned back on, these shapes change and move around to where they're largely uncorrelated after a million years or so. Gaia Sky allows you to capture a sequence of stills, so after pushing F6, I got about 300 4K resolution uncorrelated images of the star field through time. This was my data set to find the letters. The final project code does two things. Its main function is to take an image sample such as the letter C shown and match it to different scales throughout all the field images provided as shown. This function records the best matches in each frame as they occur. Each current best frame is stored and can be examined. It's shown here. Notice that with the increasing correlation, the character does not necessarily look more like the letter C. The second thing the program does is find the specific letters CS50. Running this part of the code generates the best matches from pre-selected frames and combines them into one JPEG image showing the combined result here. It also saves the best matches in their originating frame with a found character inside a yellow box. For instance, here is the letter five found, and here's the whole frame it was found in, and here's the letter. Although it is possible to combine text to images and all using Python, I just use Word and Paint to generate these presentation images. When they're overlain on a full star field, the result you see is generated. Finally, I'd like to acknowledge my debt to Harvard and the CS50P creators for making this course available. I've moved from Knoll to Noob in a couple of months and encourage those on the fence to go for it. Thank you for your attention.